hi welcome back to my youtube channel i am um in today's video i want to talk about how to be holy i had a conversation with a good friend of mine and we were talking about holiness and we got to the point of realizing that the teachings we've heard about holiness has almost like pushed fear into our hearts and it makes it seem like being holy is impossible and of course, trying to be holy by your self-effort should be impossible because none of us can become holy. Holiness is the standard of God and none of us can get there without the help of God. The first point that I discussed about is becoming holy is to align with God. Scriptures say, be holy as your father in heaven is holy. Now it means God is holy. So I have to become like God. Becoming holy means becoming like God. And how can I become like God without aligning with God? It's impossible. Without aligning with God, I cannot become like God. Without having an opportunity to behold God, I cannot become like God. And that is why Paul in 2 Corinthians says, as we behold him, the more we behold him, the closer we are to him, the changed we are. The more we behold his face, the more we behold his beauty, the more we behold his character and his attitude, we become changed. We become like him. And that is why Paul, again in Philippians, says, Let this mind be in you as was in Christ Jesus, that he did not take on pride, even though he was God, but he was humble, which tells me that being humble is holiness, is being holy. We've talked about holiness and it seems like, be holy. And then they talk about these big stuffs, like what we term the big stuff, fornication, adultery, I'm not I'm knocking that. It is something that we need to observe not to be like the world. But then it's like we are plucking off leaves without dealing with the root. The root issue is not the adultery or the fornication or the lying. Those are things that are actually leaves. But the root issue is the ability to do good is not in us. Like Paul said in Romans 7, that I long to do good, but every time I try to do good, there is something in me that makes me do wrong. And he said, oh, wretched man that I am, that I can't even do the good that I desire to do. I get to find myself doing the evil I do not desire to do. So what is the solution? It is being in Christ. It is only by the help of God that we can become holy. Only God makes us holy. Scripture makes us know that Christ Jesus is our sanctification. God has made him to become the one who cleanses us of our impurities, of our sin. So to become holy to this point is to align with God. Because you cannot stay close to God in intimacy, not in proximity. And then you are not becoming like him. It's just like staying close to the fire, firewood burning, and you do not smell like it, you will definitely smell like it. So if you get closer to God, the closer you get to God, the deeper you realize you become more intimate with him and the change you become, you start becoming like him. And this is also true even in a physical relationship with other human beings, maybe in an intimate relationship. You realize that the more time you spend with someone, the more you become like them, the more you talk like them, the more their attitude and their character start being passed down to you. And Jesus was making a prayer to the disciples, telling the Father about them in John chapter 17. Reading that, he says, make them holy by your truth. Teach them your word which is truth. I pray that they will all be one, just as you and I are one. As you are in me, Father, and I am in you. And may they be in us, so that the world you believe you sent me. Now, Jesus was talking about us aligning with the Father. Of course, he says to us, abide in me and I in you, because without me, you can do nothing. That is John 15. So he says to the Father in John 17, make these people holy by your word, which tells me and you that, it is the word of God that makes us holy. And the more we align with God is, the more we read the word of God, the more our heart is transformed to look like God. The more we get a revelation of the word of God, the more our heart is transformed to become like God. Now, the second thing I want to talk about here is that holiness means becoming uncommon. In the world, we realize that everybody is trying to find relevance. And to find relevance, you have to do what others are doing. 
for you to be relevant in today's society. But then God tells you, be not conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And what he is saying is, do not look like the world because you are not like them. Be uncommon. In a world where everybody wants to cheat and be infidel in their marriage, in their relationship, be different. In a world whereby people lie, be the honest one. In a world whereby people carry on pride, be the humble person. This is the teaching of Christ to us. It does not seem good to our flesh, but this is what holiness looks like. In a world where people are unkind, be the kind one. Be uncommon. What do the world do? Love those that love you. And when Christ came, he said, no, love your enemy. Pray for those who despitefully hurt you. Pray for those who actually wish you bad. And I'm like, oh. But that is the heart surgery. That is where the change comes. That is what is holy to God because that is who God is. And God is trying to tell you, don't be common. Be uncommon because you are uncommon. Be holy as your Father in heaven is holy, which is become like me. Look at the way I live and become like me. That is why Paul got to a place of saying, the life I live in the flesh, it's not I that live. It is Christ that lives in me. So you have to come to a place of saying, if I really desire holiness, it is simple, but then it requires discipline from my end. It is simple because he made everything easier for you and me so that we can get to approach him. We can get to live this life and it looks like, oh, it is so easy to do. So it is not a mission impossible whereby people give you 10 steps, 20 steps, 7 steps and all of that. It is about us aligning with God and realizing that we have to think like him. We must have the mind and the character and behavior like he has. Is God kind? Yes, he is. Then we have to be kind. And this other part I want to put is we are so indifferent in today's world. And that is not holiness. We focus on fornication lying and all of the things we regard as big stuff and we forget that being indifferent is an unholy hack because anybody that is indifferent cannot be compassionate cannot be kind but will be selfish because an indifferent person does not care about any other person but themselves it does not concern me that is their own issue that is their own problem. Let them solve their problem. I have my own issues to take care of. And God is telling you that is not holiness. So for you to be holy, don't be indifferent. Be compassionate. Be kind. Love one another. Be patient with your neighbor. Holiness that is preached religiously is actually about you trying to use your self-effort to develop self-discipline. But the holiness that comes through the Spirit of God is to tell you that God is the one to assist you through his spirit who is your personal teacher. The Holy Spirit is you and I's personal teacher. In that word teacher, it breaks it down to say he's our counselor, he's our comforter, he's our helper, he's our standby. He's the one that we need to be able to live a holy life because it is the Holy Spirit in us who is the God in us that can lead us to become like God. How can we know God without his spirit? First Peter chapter 1 says, So prepare your minds for action and exercise self-control. Put all your hope in the gracious salvation that will come to you when Jesus Christ is revealed to the world. So you must live as God's obedient children. Don't slip back into your old ways of living to satisfy your own desires. You didn't know any better then. But now you must be holy in everything you do. Just as God who chose you is holy. For the scriptures say you must be holy because I am holy. It's trying to tell you before you were living by how you feel. You were living doing the things you desire. But it says you didn't know better. Now that you know better, everything you do should be informed by God. Which is everything you do should be led by the Spirit of God. That is holiness. Now and the final and last thing I want to say is that holiness requires discipline. To be holy, you have to be disciplined. You have to know that. Becoming holy is not an act of fear and self-effort on your part. It is an act of discipline, which is a fruit that the Holy Spirit brings up in you. It's a fruit of the Spirit. Why do you have this fruit? It is because the love of God has been poured out upon your heart for you to know that you are doing this out of love, not out of, out of fear. Scripture says in Ephesians 5, Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ loved the church. How did he love the church? He gave himself. For her and washed her by the washing of the water 
by the word. That is how he made the church holy. Christ himself, by loving us, opened our hearts. And by his blood, he has birthed us to be clean, redeemed us, regenerated us. By accepting him, we accept a new status of becoming new creatures. And since we become new creatures, every day we get to walk with him so that we are washed by his word. We are washed by the revelation of his word because the more his word is revealed to us, the more we see him. The more we hear his word, the more he is revealed for us to see who he is so that we can be tuned to his frequency in our living, in our speech, in our behavior. This, my friend, is the way to become holy. Align with the Father. Align with Christ. Align with the Holy Spirit. Know that you are uncommon and know that this is not a thing you do by your self-effort. God loves you and you are doing this out of love, not out of fear. And this last scripture to encourage you is 1 Thessalonians 5.23 Now, may the God of peace himself sanctify you through and through. That is, separates you from profane and vulgar things. Make you pure and whole and undamaged. Consecrated to him. Set apart for his purpose. And may your spirit and soul and body be kept complete and be found blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. God, when we align with him, is the one that keeps us holy. This is not something we do by our flesh. It is something that the more we go to God daily, the more we become like him. The closer, the deeper. Thank you. And I hope this video is a blessing to you. Let me know in the comment section what things have been like a pointer for you in this video and the decisions you've made in living a holy life and how it's been. Let's discuss that in the comment section. See you in my next YouTube video. Bye-bye.